Hey, what's up, guys? So this lighting's still horrible down here, can you tell? So I'm in the shop, and uh, my buddy Andrew came over to pick up a few things. Uh, donated some money, and I donated a couple motors to him. Uh, big old horsepower motors for a, a project he's working on. So, here we are in the lab. And... What's up? Hey, what'd you I'm Andrew. What'd what? you, well, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. I'm Andrew. I'm all the way from Ohio. Ohio. And I just came over here to see what, the, what Russ was up to, and he's got an update for you. How far away from you were you from Stanley? I'm only about three hours away. Very nice. Yep. All Not right. Too far from Columbus. Very cool. Uh, so I just wanted to give you guys an update and show you the uh, the um, somebody actually came over and visited my lab. I think that's kind of cool. So anyway, the uh, project at hand right now. As I showed you guys earlier, I am designing my own pulse circuit based somewhat on Stanley's original, uh, but with my own modifications. So I have it breadboarded here. Those of you who watched me live got to see me build this whole circuit. That's still on the internet. Uh, this light is, uh, one of these is gating, one of these is pulse frequency, and the other one here is the output of the uh, chips here. Basically, since I'm doing this video, I'll give you an idea of what's going on. There's two separate circuits. One's gating, one's the uh, resonant frequency. And each one of these chips, there's a 555 timer, and each one of these chips divide by 10. And then you have a selector switch to choose which setting you want to be on. So it's a really nice um, frequency generator, and that's the reason I wanted to build it. Because I, I think it's a great design. Uh, I did do some modifications. I added some uh, D flip-flops which created a not so perfect 50% duty cycle pulse width and I changed it from with the flip flop it divides by two and creates a perfect 50% duty cycle um, uh oh I knocked something out what happened oh man time out alright I'm back I had a few problems so I bumped something I hate these breadboards but anyway uh, here you can see the pulse width and the uh, I'm sorry the gating I can adjust the gating and I can adjust the resonant frequency within the gating by adjusting these two potentiometers so uh, when I get this all said and done I'll let you guys know because I want to post it online and so you guys can build it but I got some more testing to do I want to show you what I've been working on and uh yeah a visitor a visitor from beyond any last words uh no just support him support russ thank you you see it go ahead oh i was just saying you see it it's happening it's happening i got the gas gun the circuitry the water cell the epg i gotta build all these systems together to make them work so anyway just a, a supporter right here came to visit. You guys want to visit me, you might be able to, but you guys figure out where I live. Alright, this rests rwgresearch.com. Peace, guys.